Hi guys, see you again in this channel. SolidWorks tutorial. We are going to draw a water dipper. Select the revolved boss on the front plane. First, make a center line as the axis of revolution. Then continue with creating a sketch profile. I want to tell you, that to make an arc sketch after making a line sketch, you just need to move the mouse out and return to the end point of the line, then the line sketch will turn into an arc sketch. Set dimensions at 103 millimeters 5 degree angle Radius 10 millimeters 38 millimeters 46 millimeters 1 millimeter Then offset the sketch at 0.85 millimeters Set dimensions at 10 millimeters 15 millimeters radius, 1.6 millimeters. Sketch the line and sketch the arc again. Then set the sketch with the add relation command. Set dimensions at 3 mm, 0.9 mm, 100 degree angle. Outer radius 73.5 mm. Then exit sketch. Click the vertical line as axis of revolution. OK. Next, we will create the handle. Select the sketch on the top plane. Then create a center line. Convert entities. Sketch arcs and lines. Then make the arc and line tangent with the add relation command. Copy entities with the mirror command. Trim unused lines. Set dimensions at 100 millimeters. 45 millimeters. 49 millimeters. 24 millimeters. Exit sketch. Make the planar surface for the sketch. Create the extruded surface on the planar surface. With the profile as shown on the screen. Exit sketch. Then set the extrusion to 13 millimeters. Draft angle at 3 degrees. Check the end cap. OK. Set fillet at 4 millimeters. Then use the command trim surface and delete surface. Select the sketch on the right plane. Sketch the angled end of the handle.
then make another sketch on the right plane for the lower profile. Create a new plane on the slanted profile. Then make a sketch of the profile on the plane. Split the arc into two parts, so that it can be formed for the lofted surface process. Exit sketch. On the surface toolbar, select the lofted surface. Then click the profile at the three arcs above. OK. Extend surface at 10 millimeters. Then use the trim surface command. Sketch a cutting arc with a radius of 15 millimeters. Set fillets with variable radius 10 and 2.5 millimeters. Then use thickens command. Set thickness at 2 millimeters outward direction. OK. Next, we create a radius lip around the handle. Profile it on the new plane. Choose a partial ellipse. Then continue with the lines. Set the width at 4 mm and 2.5 mm high. Exit sketch. Select the sweep boss to continue. Select the profile and the path. OK. With the same profile, make another sweep boss at the center handle. Then copy it with the mirror command. OK.
Trim the surface of the handle by taking the entity's boundaries and then converting them. Then use the thicken command on the surface with a thickness of 2 mm. Inner fillet of the handle at 2 mm. Next, we make ribs for reinforcement between the handle and the body. First, create a relief surface for the lower rib position. Use the spline sketch profile. Then select the extruded surface and set the length at 60 mm. OK. Second, create the top rib sketch profile on the plane shown on the screen. Offset entities at 1 mm and 4.5 mm. Add a line to cover the sketch profile. Exit sketch. Third, create a sketch profile for the lower rib. It is smaller than the top. Offset entities at 1.25 mm from the previous profile. Close the profile with a line. Exit sketch. Then use the split line command on the health surface earlier. Delete the face and leave the third profile split line. Continue with the delete face command left over from the sweep boss command. On the feature toolbar, select Lofted Boss. Click Surface Profile and Second Profile. Uncheck Merge Result, then OK. Use the Move Face command, so that the ribs stick to the body wall. Select Split to remove excess rib body. Check Consume Cut Body. Then click OK. Add fillet to the bottom rib with a full round fillet type.
Cocky rib with the mirror command. Okay. Also add the dipper lip with a full round fillet type. Then join the three bodies with the combine command. Continue by making a hook hole at the end of the scoop handle. Select extruded cut. Then create a sketch profile in the form of a straight slot. Set dimensions at 6 mm, 14 mm. and 31 millimeters. Exit sketch. Select through all then click OK. Make a reinforcing lip along the hook hole. Offset profile 0.5 from slot edge. Then select the sweep boss. Check circular profile with a diameter of 1 mm. And click on the profile you just created as path. Then click OK. Make a split line on the handle to mark the position of the parting line. Set the radius at 15 millimeters. Add a collinear line so that the end of the handle can be reached by the split line command. Okay. Finally, add a fillet of 2 mm for the ribs that attach to the walls of the dipper. Thank you for following this video. Stay tuned for the next video. Subscribe and share, so that videos can also benefit others. Thanks and see you.